Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today we're making festive fruit bread. And here's what you're going to need. You're going to need, of course, flour, half a cup of sugar, one egg, one and a half cups of your multigrain mix. This is optional. I've got pure orange extract. I have raisins, currants, uh, sliced dried apricots, and dried cranberries. I have a quarter cup of pumpkin powder. Here I have two teaspoons of cinnamon, um, a quarter teaspoon of allspice, a quarter teaspoon of clove, and a quarter teaspoon of ginger. Let's get started. I forgot to mention, I've got a cup and about a cup and a half to two cups of milk in this pot. I'm just going to warm it up and I've got an eighth of a pound of butter. That's half a stick for my American friends. And I'm just going to warm this up enough so that the butter melts. Now while our milk is warming up, I'm going to add our sugar and a couple of teaspoons of yeast. Remember, when you're using your KitchenAid for bread or any heavy doughs that you're using a dough hook never go above two a little bit of cold water cold milk to get the milk down to the right temperature because we don't want it boiling and we don't want it too hot it can kill the yeast if it's too hot also to my milk and butter i'm going to add about a teaspoon of pure orange extract got to be careful citrus can curdle the milk so now we're just going to pour that right in there lift our bowl up and we're going to put this on stir. We're going to start adding our flour. Actually, we want to get our egg in there. That's on four, but we're not doing dough yet. Okay, down to two. Let's add some flour. I'm say that's one cup. We want to get it in here enough that it won't make our multigrain mix soggy. Whoa, and goes our spices. Thank you, Sam. And goes our pumpkin. And that's why I don't worry about having extra liquid. And some more flour. We're going by me consistency, not measurements, but I'm going to say that's about four cups of flour. And in goes all of our fruit. And I almost forgot a teaspoon of salt. I should have went in with the flour, but this is going to mix really thoroughly, so we'll just leave it to mix in. But if your dough's almost done and you've forgotten the salt, just leave it. Now it's starting to come away from the sides of the bowl, which means I'm pretty sure that's just about done. Now we're going to shut it off. Drop our bowl. Jeez, I'm getting the hang of this. Take our dough hook off. And let's have a look. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, Clark. Okay. Now this is a really heavy bread dough. So it is going to take some time to rise. But I just want to make sure I get all the dough out of the bottom here. Okay, something I have to mention here is I used dehydrated pumpkin and I used a lot of dried fruit and then I added my multi-grain mix on top of that. What I wasn't counting on was the moisture in the bread or in the dough like from the milk and stuff was going to rehydrate a lot of those dried fruits and the pumpkin. So the, while the bread was delicious the second rising didn't rise as much and I couldn't figure out why.
is because the pumpkin in the first rising was still hydrating. The second rising, the pumpkin was making it really heavy. So although it was a delicious bread, it was really, really dense. So if you're using a lot of dried fruit and you're using any kind of dehydrated fruit powder, please, please, please add at least, um, if, if there was two cups of liquid, add another one at least. Okay, we're going to add just a little bit of avocado oil and we're going to drop this just so it's covered. Mm, look at that. And we just want to make sure this is covered in oil so it doesn't stick to the bowl. And we will put a nice fresh tea towel over this. And this is going to, now, if you have a regular light bulb in your oven, um, not an LED, you can turn your oven light on and put this in and it'll generate enough heat. I have a keep warm setting that gets my oven up to 100 degrees. I'm going to, I just turn that on to get it going and then I shut it off. It just has to be warm, not hot. And in the oven this goes. All right, so I've got my four little pans. I hope I have enough dough for them. But we'll start by a bit of oil in the first two anyway. And I am going to just put a little bit of flour here. Look at that! Isn't that beautiful? Alright, let's see. I think I should be able to get... Look at the fruit falling off. Alright, I think I should be able to get four. So I'm going to put some more oil, a little bit of oil in each pan. I'm going to cut this in half. And in half again. And you know what? I think that's just going to be just Jim Dandy. So now, I'm just going to roll. Fruit falling out all over the place. But you know what? That just means there's lots of it. I'm just going to turn this around in my pan a couple of times. Flop it around. Get it everything coated in oil. Oh, this is a perfect... This would have made one long, really long loaf two normal size loaves or four of these mini loaves and then we'll just cover it and let it rise again just like that let's see all right these are going to go into i'm going to preheat my i'm going to start my oven preheating now and these are going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes all righty let me just check you can always tell nice hollow sound wonderful i'm just going to let these completely cool and tomorrow so i will slice some and you'll see it okay it's the next morning and i'm going to make briar some toasted bread for breakfast now this is really dense and it's got why it's really dense pumpkin powder folks so we're going to make a couple of pieces of these i made it in small loaves because i'm the only one who really eats it isn't that gorgeous so now i'm going to pop these in the toaster and butter them up for briar they look small but they're really filling i'm going to take this over to briar while the kettle boils for his tea you're not going to see him but hopefully you'll see his thumb up How is it? There you go, Briar's hand. He loves his raisin toast. This is the Mr. Bulfie from our half acre homestead saying festive fruit bread. Briar approved. Take care, God bless.